one thing we have to be careful in our pursuit of efficiency is that we might lose that sense of connection. And I think that's what we're seeing. When I look around at the world, a lot of people were initially COVID time, like, oh, this is amazing. I've been wanting to spend more time with my boyfriend, but then they've kind of been, their frog has been boiled over time. (laughs) And you can sense like these people aren't happy, but they're kind of addicted to being depressed in a lot of ways. And so they're afraid to get back to anything like normalcy, not realizing like, yeah, it's going to be a little awkward when you have to get back into social situations, but we need that so desperately. It is just baked into us. Similar to what I was talking about with regard to if your life is chaos, you'll need more rigidity to deal with that, right? More order to deal with the chaos. And I think that's similar when we talk about if you're going to work on your own, great, but you're going to need to figure out how to make connections. You're going to have to spend more time doing a, making a conscious effort to build connections. There's a, a book I love by Johan Hari called Lost Connections, which is about how most of depression is actually a lack of connection, that people who end up depressed or who end up sometimes even on drugs, oftentimes what they're missing is just human-to-human connection. Mm-hmm.